Skinwalkers are basically more like wares than furries, yet my brain unfortunately goes to Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. Now he places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Walkers. Uh, finally, he sleeps here with another video in the Faction Wars series. The reason we struggle through all of the Faction Wars levels is not for the glyphs and the forge materials, although both are nice. It's for this frighteningly winged beauty, Lydia. On your way to claiming her, you're going to need to three star each and every level in Skinwalkers, though, and that's what we're going to take a look at tonight. First, though, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube. Turn on notifications so you never miss when a video goes live. It's free, it's simple, but it does make a big difference here on the channel, so thanks for checking that out. The Skinwalkers faction features some of the most interesting champs visually, but with a few exceptions, the overall utility of the faction is a bit low. The exceptions include three of the special fusion event champs, uh, Grishak, Vermin Lord, the Rat King, uh, Razel Varg, Drugs Bunny, and Mighty Uko, which is Pumbaa Extreme. If you grab all of the fusion champs, then those three will fit right here in this faction. Uh, I recorded this just prior to the release of Drugs Bunny, which is why he's missing. Uh, to make it through any full 21 set of levels in Faction Wars with three stars in each, you're going to need a team that hits on all three of the major areas. You need at least one heavy damage dealer. You need at least one debuffer and or AoE champ able to deal with the waves for crowd control. And you need at least one major support champ either delivering, healing and cleansing or straight up reviving your down champs or both. Uh, you also need to make sure you bring enough resist and defense and possibly HP to keep everyone in the fight. Those are the rules for all factions, and Skinwalkers is no exception. For my team, I have Uko for support. He brings a crowd control AoE on his A1 that places decreased attack as well as massive full team revive on his A3. As a support champ, because he was free, he's the go-to for this faction. There are exceptions, though, if you missed out on that fusion. Hoffery's the Tusk, also in this team, is another big reviver for this faction. But Razel Varg and Steel Skull are notable crowd control as well. Another champ I need to mention is another fusion event champion, Great Hoof Loriaka, or as we're calling her, the Dairy Queen. She's going to fit right in for most people who claim her as both a turn meter control and a support champion. Basher and the Rat King bring heavy damage and crowd control here as well. Basher has a strong A1 with Weaken, as well as a heavy hitting AoE on his A2. Rat King brings bombs, which both knock out the waves after they explode, as well as destroys the boss once you get there. Fane is the final champ in my team. She's a utility damage dealer, bringing both decreased defense and decreased attack. She's squishy, though, so you'll need support to keep her in the team. There are a lot of exceptions here for those roles. Uh, Scarber, uh, Scabrius, Tamesia, Lorius, Brachus, and Cleoptrix are all heavy damage dealers. Snick Track and Flesh Tear are great alternative support champs as well. Now, once you get to the final boss, which is purple here, uh, there he is going to start stealing buffs. Uh, so depending on how your team operates, that could be a problem. The boss has an A2 on a three turn cooldown, which is an AOE that steals all buffs and then transfers her debuffs onto your whole team. This you're going to need to plan for. Her A1 is an AOE that places fear, which means you'll need either block debuffs, a cleanse, or high enough resist to keep the fear from overwhelming your squad. Her A3 is a 12 turn cooldown HP exchange, so even if she's almost dead, once it comes up, she can just swap HP with your best champ and put her back in the fight. You'll need to be fast enough so you can either kill her before she hits 12 turns or better yet, slow her down with decreased speed. She has two minions. The left one lays down provokes on your champions and the right one gives your champs the leech debuff. Uh, you'll need to deal with these first before the boss. We've already taken them out here in this case. Um, beside dealing with the minions, though, if you can freeze, stun, or sleep them to slow them down, then let your AoEs do their work while you focus on the boss. 
that's going to be more help. Uh, that way you're not wasting a bunch of turns trying to kill them off before tackling the boss. Uh, most importantly, you'll want to bring high resist to minimize the boss and minion's chance of loading you up with debuffs. Speed will also be a major factor when dealing with the purple boss. Uh, you don't want her using her A3 right before you've killed her. That's where Razelvarg, the drug's bunny, is going to come in for most play because of his massive amount of speed. Now, if you don't have a cleanser or block debuffs on everyone, resist is the most important aspect for this level. In my team, besides resistance, the combination of both Hoferys the Hippo and Mighty Uko the Warthog were what made the difference, mostly because of all the debuffs between weaken, decrease attack, and decrease defense, bombs, and poisons this team lays down and then gets stuck with when the boss uses her A2. Uh, you, it's that switch of debuffs that makes it so that you, if you're going to lay down a team that's heavy on debuffs, you've got to have a way of dealing with them when they inevitably come back your way. Now, if you have other factions you're struggling with, check out the whole Faction War series here on the channel. All the links for the full series are below in the video description. If this information helped you out along the way in your run toward Lydia, please consider subscribing here at the channel. It's a small gesture that goes a long way towards growth here for me. I'm finally he sleeps. Thanks for hanging out. And as always, as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos.